Lessons. Yahweh is always teaching me, always testing me, always watching me, always warning me. I make plans and Yahweh blesses them or not. If the plans I've made are not in my best interest or do not coincide with Yahweh's plan for me, Yah does not bless the plans I made. The plans fail, and I thank Yahua for protecting me from my own foolishness. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 27 But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. And now I need to give a personal update because something I did did not work out according to my plan. I had recorded three weeks worth of videos in advance and scheduled them to post one each week in anticipation of being laid off from my job. And I wanted some time to declutter, rearrange and set up the recording studio in the spare bedroom. Well, I did get the studio set up. Here we are in the new studio you may notice that the lighting is different and I may need to further adjust to do further adjustments on the lighting. We will see. I really will not be able to tell if the lighting is good or bad or acceptable until I start the editing process. Anyway, here is the personal update. Not only am I not being laid off, but the specialty work that I do for the company is the majority of the work that the company will now be doing. I just went from being the most expendable employee to being the most valuable employee. So no early retirement for me. The company sold and the new owners choose to go in a different direction than the former CEO who they promptly fired along with the person in charge of the program to outsource my department. So I completely misunderstood what Yahweh's plan was for me. I thought that Yah was giving me early semi-retirement and instead Yah brought the plans of two men to get rid of me back upon their own heads. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 35. Vengeance is mine and recompense. Their foot shall slip in due time. For the day of their calamity is at hand, and the things to come hasten upon them. Why is it so important for me to be in this job? I don't know. It's not like anyone is going to die because I'm not there. Or is it? I don't know what Yah's plan for me is here in this mortal world other than to provide an environment where I can be kept safe in these end times and be free to seek him. Other than that, I don't know what Yahweh's will is for me. I just go with the flow. What Yahweh inspires me to write, I write. What Yah inspires me to say, I say. What Yah inspires me to do, I do. This is very difficult for me to do because I am a mega planner. I used to plan my vacations six months to a year in advance. I also did not want to do this video. I do not think it wise to give out too much personal information, but Yah wants me to share my personal walk with Yahusha. So I'm leaving as little personal detail as possible, but still get the story across of what happened and how Iawa has affected my life as he does every day. Basically to show you that all that Yah wants from any of us is to seek him with our whole heart and to share our experience with others so that they will know how to seek Yah with their whole heart. I would prefer to pull an Enoch and conceal myself from this corrupted world and fully engage with the Holy One, Yahuwah. But that is not Yah's will for me right now. 
it is not yet my time to do so. Right now I am to be the outstretched hand of Yahusha to all who have ears to hear and eyes to see. You can look at me and see that your walk with Yah doesn't have to be perfect. We may trip and stumble along the way, but we shall not be utterly cut off because Yahua, Yahusha, will not let us fall. So I was asking Yahua what scripture he wanted me to quote to explain the lesson he has taught me, and Yahua led me to Psalm 37. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath, Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil, for evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while the wicked shall not be, yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plotteth against the just, and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword, and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy, and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Their sword shall enter into their own heart, and their bows shall be broken. A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholdeth the righteous. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be for ever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume, into smoke shall they consume away. The wicked borroweth and payeth not again, but the righteous showeth mercy and giveth. For such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. I have been young, and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. He is ever merciful, and lendeth, and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil, and do good, and dwell for evermore. For the Lord loveth judgment, and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talketh of judgment. The law of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. The wicked watcheth the righteous and seeketh to slay him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord, and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. I have seen the wicked in great power, and spreading himself like a green bay tree. 
yet he passed away, and lo, he was not. Yea, I sought him, but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together, the end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord, he is their strength in the time of trouble. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Keep faith in the promise of Yahusha. Shalom.